Hello everyone, Scottish Lad here and welcome back to Scottish Lad's Art Channel. In today's review, we're going to be reviewing a set of custom darts by none other than Zachary Fountain, aka Fountain Darts. He designed my custom darts, the Air Force Ones, he designed Love Darts Gen 1 and Gen 2, the Darts Referee Gen 1 and Gen 2. So the list is endless of the amount of darts he has created for us players over the, obviously, years. But let's crack on with the review. Hey guys, here we are, we've got a nice close-up look to the Fountain Darts V1, which leads me to believe there may be more than one model of, obviously, the legend. That is Zachary Fountain, aka Fountain Darts. The best custom designer out there, in my opinion. He's done my darts and he's done a lot of other people's darts that I've seen, and I actually have a few of them myself, which you will see being reviewed. But let's just get into this. These are custom-made. <clears throat> I'm not sure who manufactured them, I just know that Fountain Darts designed them. As you can see, it's a Gary Anderson style grip, twin ring, some yellow to obviously accent the dart. Fountain Darts logo, I'll get close-ups, etc. When I pull it up, some notches in the front of the nose, which will help with aerodynamics. And a 26mm black point. Now, this is the flights they sent. They sent two sets of these. These are not the stems, it was polycarbonate stems and I broke them, so I just upgraded to Target Pro Grip. Now these are 23 gram, it's the only weight they're available in, is 23 gram, and it is pretty much a modern twist on a classic design, with that kind of Eric Bristol design, with the smooth band etc. Now there it is, the Font and Darts logo on the smooth band, some nice yellow paint there obviously to contrast the stems and flights. Grip at the back for a rear gripper, you've got a, a little bit of grip, level 3.5, and, and I'd say it's the same with front to middle grippers, you've got an easy level 3.5 grip in there. Bit of a lip at the, obviously, nose end of the dart, but obviously easily rectified with a trident nose cone or a free flow or storm point, just whatever your preference is. Now, the length from here where the point meets the barrel to here where the stem meets the barrel is 50 millimetres, so decent sized dart in terms of length and the width given it's a straight barrel is 6.4 millimetres so as I say it's just a modern twist on a classic shape and design it's the kind of Eric Bristol-esque shape with obviously the smooth band cut out a little bit of grip at the rear, obviously the front section and those notches will help with your aerodynamics Similar to what Nathan Aspinall has in the nose of his darts as well. Now, these are 95% tungsten. And I'm not sure where they were manufactured. If you want me to find out, I can ask. They are £35. That's how much he's selling them for. And that's not including your postage. So £35 plus postage. But at the moment, they are out of stock. I don't know whether he's going to get more in or not. Overall, cracking design. The darts themselves look visually appealing, especially when they're in the board with the yellow setup. You can see it very well, which is what a lot of us as players look for. We look for the obviously the coloration in the board so we can see the darts a bit more closely. And then obviously as, as they perform well for us as players. But I've gave you all the necessary information on the Fountain Darts V1. Let's get them over to the board and we'll see how I got on with them. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, traditional throwing section for the Fountain Darts V1. Very much fly like a straight barrel dart. Obviously, the points for me need to be a wee bit longer. I like a longer point. The grip is spot on. It's definitely level 3.5 on a scale of 1 to 5. 95% tungsten, can't grumble. Now, with the setup supplies, they do feel ever so slightly as if they're going for further forward in the front when they're landing in the board, hence why they're the kind of high landing. But that is more probably because I'm a rear gripper as well, so it is getting pushed, obviously, that way, rather than landing flat in the board, for example. But lovely, lovely darts in the hand. It's definitely 3.5 grip. Really comfortable grip as well. It's not an aggressive grip. It's not, it doesn't feel smooth. It just feels perfect, I want to say, in the hand. Obviously, still not grippy enough for me. I do like a grippier dart, but that classic dart style, the grip and obviously the wee touches that Fountain Darts has added to the darts themselves will definitely make them a popular seller. At the moment, currently sold out. 
but I'm thinking he's going to get more in if they've sold out. I think it's twice, I believe, now they've sold out. So they're obviously very popular in the market. The only thing as well is these are custom darts. So Font and Darts actually had these made for himself and his brand. So it's whether they're going to suit everybody. But as I say, you can't really go wrong with that style of dart. And the price of 35 quid for them, you can't eat grumble at that. Plus your postage, so you're talking pushing £40 if you're in the UK for a 95% tungsten dart with, obviously, flights and stems. Cannot grumble at that at all. But I'll let you finish watching the throne section, and I'll see you when we're going to get wrapped up. There we go guys, that was my review of the Fontan V1 darts and 23 gram the only weight they're available in of course. <clears throat> As I said, it's a classic design in terms of overall kind of shape and style. It is very similar to the likes of a Eric Bristol dart, Rob Cross dart with obviously the tapered nose instead of a rounded bull nose. And obviously the accent with the Fontan darts logo and the yellow paint which really makes the darts pop. Now, £35 for a 95% tungsten dart is great value. The only issue is right now he is out of stock. I'm not sure whether he plans on getting more. If you want me to find out, I will ask him and I will find out because it's a very popular feeling dart, I'd say, especially if this is the style you like. Obviously, the smooth section at the back, my finger kept running across it because of the way I grip. But nonetheless, outstanding dart. Best in the business for custom design darts, so if you want your own darts made up, contact Fontan Darts. Obviously, he's a very busy man, he does a lot for everybody in the darts world, so let me know what you think of these in the comment section while you're down there. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here, of course. Leave a comment what you think of the Fontan Darts customs or any sort of kind of custom darts you've had in our Fontan Darts, because it really boosts his his business because this is what he does he likes to design and manufacture darts we'll get darts manufactured for people but as i say let me know what you think of these in the comment section down below like subscribe and comment stay safe out there and of course keep on that